In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience learning Spanish, so don't go away. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. Lots of you have been asking for listening practice, so here it is. In today's video, all I'm going to do is talk and I'm going to talk about my experience learning Spanish because I'm a student just like you. I decided to learn another language about five years ago because I thought it was a really useful skill to have and before that I could only speak my native language, English. Unfortunately, languages aren't given much importance in British education and the majority of people only speak English. However, as I got older I started to realise how useful languages can be and I regretted not learning a second language when I was younger. So when I was 25 years old I decided to learn Spanish. I decided to learn Spanish because it seemed like the most practical language to learn. It's a European language so it shares lots of words with English and it's spoken in lots of countries around the world, including popular tourist destinations like Mexico and Spain. Initially, I taught myself using free materials I found online, such as websites, podcasts and YouTube videos, and I would study on the train to work because I had to travel about two hours to my job, and it was a good opportunity to study. Later, I decided to take some evening classes at a nearby university to consolidate what I had learnt. I quickly became confident with the grammar, but I couldn't really speak very well, so I also started attending language exchanges and having online conversation classes to improve my speaking skills. After a couple of years, I could successfully communicate in Spanish but I wasn't very fluent, and it wasn't until I went to Peru to work as an English teacher that I really improved, and after six months of living in Peru, I was really confident with the language, and I considered myself fluent. The biggest challenge I encountered when learning Spanish was speaking. When you learn a language in your own country, it can be difficult to find people who speak your target language, and even if you do find someone, they don't necessarily want to listen to you stuttering and stammering for hours. I overcame this by attending language exchanges. Language exchanges are events where students meet to practice different languages. Most large cities have language exchanges, and there are also language exchange websites where you can meet other students who are motivated to learn. I also benefited a lot from paid conversation classes with professional teachers online. Another challenge I encountered was remembering vocabulary. In any language there are lots of words to remember and it can be difficult to have a conversation with somebody if you have a limited vocabulary. I overcame this by downloading a flashcard application to my phone and prioritising the most common words. This way I was able to quickly and efficiently expand my vocabulary. A final challenge I encountered was finding reading and listening materials. When learning a language it's important to use appropriate materials. If the content is too hard you'll get frustrated and give up, and if the content is too easy you won't learn anything new. I overcame this by listening to podcasts which were specially designed for Spanish students and playing them at a slower speed if necessary. I also read books aimed at teenagers until I was more confident with the language. Learning another language has benefited me in ways I couldn't have imagined when I first started. Firstly, I've learned a huge amount about Hispanic culture and this has really motivated me to keep learning because I really enjoy Spanish language music, films and books. Secondly, I've met lots of incredible people who I never would have met if I hadn't learnt Spanish, and many of them have become friends for life. 
Finally, learning Spanish has given me the opportunity to live and work abroad, which is something I wouldn't have had the confidence to do before. In my opinion, motivation is the most important thing when learning another language. Learning a language requires lots of time and effort, and you need to motivate yourself to practice regularly in order to succeed. When I was at school I learnt French, German and Latin, but I hardly remember any of it because at that time I wasn't motivated to learn. So to stay motivated make sure you do activities that you enjoy, like listening to music or watching films in your target language. It's also important to start speaking as soon as possible because this is the ultimate goal of learning a language and the sooner you start, the faster you will learn. So don't be afraid to make mistakes and take the opportunity to speak as often as possible. Well that's the end of the lesson, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want more listening practice in the future, let me know by liking and subscribing and leave me a comment below with some suggestions for future topics. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.